We are following the change in prices that you're probably noticing at the grocery store. Despite the experts saying that this really should all be temporary, uh, we still wanted to make sure that you saved the next time you headed out. Joining us now live is Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cologne, who went shopping with a saving expert today. So Christian, how was it? <laughs> Hi there guys, yeah we are inside the DND market here in Weathersfield and earlier today we came with a Yukon educator on food and nutrition and one of the most important things she gave us, especially as prices continue to rise, is to not panic and just shop smart. The supply chain issues is something we have heard over and over again from shoppers and business owners. People are still buying, prices are going up and it's a lot due to gas, transportation, freight. Uh, that's a major factor in getting your goods to your stores. Daniel DiAprile with DND Market says they had some shortages, but overall business is going well since many are shopping locally. An important tip you meet yet Taylor with Yukon says can help save, but what else? Definitely you want to have a list. Don't go to the grocery store hungry. Make sure you eat beforehand. A list to avoid overspending and temptations, especially those brand name products you see on TV ads. The stores have relationship with the manufacturers that they're going to pay for space, prime space, so that eye level is going to be their prime space. So look up and below. Those items away from eyesight might be cheaper and at times healthier. Another tip, look at unit prices printed on the labels. You want to look at the, the apples to apples, this is going to be comparing unit price to unit price and making sure the packages are the same amount. If they're both 1.5 ounces and the unit price of this one is lower than this one, then this is going to be a better buy. And when it comes to buying in bulk or solo, Taylor says it should depend on the price and if you have the storage for it, you should avoid wasting food and maybe consider shopping with a neighbor or family member to split the cost and the products. A pound of pasta, you can feed four people with it. For $2 a pound for the pasta, some sauce and some, you know, meatball and some sausage, you get a nice meal. And three more tips Taylor talked to us about is, especially when you're saving, one of them is maybe you can make the sauce yourself instead of buying the canned product. It could be less expensive and more healthier. The second one is maybe you could use more coupons, especially on those uh, uh, circulars that you could probably catch some deals there. And third of all, sign up for those reward programs that some stores have, like little cards that you sign up and you scan and then you get some rewards. She says that you could also catch some deals there. Live in Weathersfield, Christian Colon, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Yeah, it's all really good information. Christian, thank you very much.